In a world of lost plants, dark secrets lie in wait. Oh, that's their cat. <laughs> where rare flowers and mysterious creatures commingle in a strange brew. <laughs> that's disgusting. Look at all the centipedes and stuff. Oh, shit. The world's coming to an end. Actually, it's not so bad. Wow. I love this. So do I. Take a look at Margaret's place. Just renovated. It looks great on the inside. Out back, that's another story. I'm Kennedy, landscape designer, and I'm going in. Margaret. Kennedy. Hey. Nice to meet you. You too. We've been in this house for 27 years, having an urban garden and a very small garden. It needs to just be that, unashamedly, honestly, an urban garden. Somewhat, you know, rambunctious. Rambunctious? What does that mean? It Psycho has to be enough. somewhere that we really feel comfortable and it's not too precious. I like the overgrown, unplanned, slightly chaotic feeling of it. Something really strong and spilling. Do you know what this is, Kennedy? One thing's for sure. Pretty. Margaret loves her plants. I wonder how that'll come into play here. I don't know if we uh, should keep this or just bulldoze it. And... I want to keep that. Oh, and this fabulous vine, which we went to great lengths to save when we did the renovation. I was kind of trying to figure out what the sling was all about. <laughs> Look at how twisty and old that is. Yeah. So you want to save that? Yes. OK, maybe in summer. The materials, too. I love concrete, quartz and steel, and planning, and you know, all that sort of stuff. And I really like that. And I like the contrast between those and the plant material. But I also would like wood because I like the warmth of wood. Interesting juxtaposition. Chaos outside, calm inside. Can only try. So you got something to work with? Yeah. Sure do. So first on the list is getting the yard measured up. Wow. Yeah. Yep, this is it. Wow. This kitchen is incredible. So obviously this deck's coming out. Yeah, they want to get lower. Yeah, they're really exposed up yeah, here, yeah, so. Yeah. Right, well, don't this... look under there. Oh, why? I'm kidding. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it was a... Ew! Was ah! a... <laughs> That's gross. I mean, it's... Oh, oh sh**! <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, so my God. are messing around with the stuff that was here before. It'd be great to have a secondary destination back here. Yes. But these seem like the type of clients that really want something a little bit different, so we're not going to go down the traditional route. No. Very good. So let's start measuring. Is this sturdy? Probably not. Got to get the grade right. You're taller. See, I'm 6'1". Little did we know we'd find an artifact or someone else's lunch. Is this the haunted garden or what? No, that's their cat. Oh. <laughs> It's scary, like, don't come back here after midnight. After midnight? No, we'll probably still be at the drawing board. Yeah. Guys had any ideas? Well, this certainly seems like a site to me that's screaming out to create rooms. Something that contrasts with that wild atmosphere, I think would be really cool Something too. really structured? Yeah. yeah. Structured? No problem. Hi. Yes. It's our specialty, and Lauren's right out of the gate. On my travels to Brazil, there was this jungle walk that went through the forest. You can see the you can see the actual plants below growing up. I think that might be a nice idea for Margaret. For sure. We're off to the races. Okay, this is the main entertainment area, which will be the, the dining deck. Following that will be a water feature that will start at the main area, follow all the way along this metal catwalk, and culminate in a pond here that they can view from the back area. This will be 24 inches above grade. Push the maximum allowable without having to put a railing. Great. Question is, will Margaret sign off? So you walk right over the top of the garden. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. I love yeah. that. I'm so excited about seeing that plan. It's exactly what I'd hoped for. Can't wait for it. Margaret bought it. Now we have to deliver. So we're going to rip out the deck? And like any design project, it's got to get worse before it gets better. Am I supposed to walk on this shit? Don't touch anything here. Don't touch it, just leave it alone. All I really wanted to get here for is to tell don't touch these ones for sure. To make sure Margaret's plants stay intact requires years and years of management skill. Is it possible to actually store the bulbs? Yeah. But for some, 
it's a tougher sell than others. Being a carpenter myself, I have no sympathy for planting crews. I really could care less. They're constantly in the way of the carpenters. The difference between guys who build and people who take care of plant material is night and day. You leave this stuff? What about that tree thing? Um, you know, there's always casualties. Oh, man. Casualties are one thing, but this could be a massacre. I kill trees so I can build decks out of them. I hate plants. Looks like the war between the builders and the planters is officially on. To make it work, everyone's got to stick together. Just uh, replanting this so Jay doesn't kill it. It's uh, preventative measures, I guess, against Jay. <laughs> Just in time, as a load of Brazilian Ipe arrives to build the deck, this thing's gonna last. Cleaner grain, cleaner lumber, damn near as hard as steel. It's gonna be here long after I'm gone. As the deck leaves dock, the plants we're saving are stuck. The thing is that we're gonna be running wheelbarrows through. It means that we would either have to carry all the wheelbarrows up and over Josh's deck, which would piss Josh off, or we would have to magically elevate the soil. Are we bringing the soil up in this square here? Is there I any discussion about that? Yeah, I think we should a bit. This place is a mess. Doesn't look like it'll be done anytime soon. Oh, Jack, how long is Margaret's project gonna take? A couple of weeks it'll be done. Yeah. There's no way that'll be done in two yeah. weeks. Who's holding? <laughs> yeah. Why are you guys both? I'll hold. Not a betting man. Two weeks. I just can't resist. Have you checked the forecast? Uh, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, money Not just went up on Kennedy. Jay may have taken a sucker bet. Pink slips, anybody? Hey. Pink slips. Hey. But this yard can't be anything less than spectacular with a modern edgy mix of wood, stone, metal, and water. It looks like a urinal. It'll look like a urinal, much drains in the bottom. Does it look like that? I think it's gonna look really slick. Clean and dumb. I do think so. You think dumb? No. It's not gonna look like those little bathtubs you put Jesus in. What? Of course not. This is the problem. I didn't realize we were putting another fence up. On the weekend, Margaret decided that she wanted us to do the fence as well. Yep. Margaret's decided to go all out and replace the entire fence. It'll add a few days to the project and get me closer to winning that bet. I'm like, this is the easiest 20 bucks I'll ever make in my life. I've been doing it long enough. I understand how timelines happen. I'm gonna lose. That's the spirit. The new deck is making it all the more difficult. Three. Oh. That was Okay, the next shot's in the hole. Watch your balls. As a new EPA deck is built, Margaret and I are doing a little plant shopping. What I'd love is if we can choose ones that will then flower through the whole summer. Right. Hoping for something really citrusy, sort of lemon, a little sharp. Talk about someone in their own element. Hard to keep up. Look how the leaves grow on the stem. Yes. Want to get some of these? Yes. I'm going to take the tags, some of the tags and then we know exactly kind of which ones we have and... You're gonna be in trouble. Grasses, I find, are gonna be the one thing that creates that height in the garden. You know, this is kind of the feeling that I picture almost the whole backyard in, this spiky kind of feeling like this. And if we gave it a spot, like a really central, like just right next to the water feature so that you actually can yeah. appreciate yeah. it. I don't think I've ever moved through this place so fast. Wow, this is so beautiful. Yeah. We're planting a lush forest of tall grasses to create a meadow feel, mixed in with blooms of white and purple and acid yellow. Love that. That's beautiful with purple. If only everything were going this well back at the job site. Yeah, it's one of those days. <laughs> Fence looks great. It would look even better if the boards went the other way. Yeah. Horizontal. We screwed this up. Now what? Just gotta go. We gotta do it the way we said we were gonna do it. Yeah. It's such a huge waste of time, man. Yeah. Okay, we screwed up. As a team, we screwed up. Take it out. Redo it. I don't know what hurts more. An extra week spent replacing this entire fence at our expense, or telling my business partners. Margaret's house. How, how was that? Okay. Actually, Horrible. Oh, why? Whole fence. Yank it all out. 
Oh no. I said to Josh, I know they're done the wrong way, but good workmanship. <laughs> it looks great. Right. It's perfect. Perfectly wrong. And so the endless fence build continues. You'd think the second time would be the charm. This post is on their property by a couple inches. We've strayed past the property line, something you never, ever want to do. It is going to be so hard to shift this thing. you got to shift them. About the only thing going well is the main deck. That's to clip the hole in the EPE. Yep. Just so then you don't have to have any screws on the top of the deck. Clean. Right, so it's nice. Well, it would be if you could see through the unending traffic jam of footprints. That deck is just so dirty from trying to do this, and it's like they haven't even used it yet. Put something on this so nobody walks on it. Yep, nerves on edge, and I don't think I'm the only one feeling it. It's a lot of disarray. It's going on a long time, and it's messy and noisy. I still don't have a timeline of when it's going to be done. Two it's boards. by one, yeah. This yard's more engrossing than a TV movie. Nice, very nice. Way more modern. Doesn't hurt that Josh is on site. <laughs> Great personality, works hard, and is convincing in his own way. I don't know. I'm trying to say something. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Well, what do you know? The horizontal fence is up, and the rear deck is finally going down. The fence looks wicked, man. You like it? Loving it. Wow, it feels so private in here now. I know. Privacy is huge now. It makes such a difference. The piers for the metal walkway are in, which means we are waiting on only one thing. The walkway itself. Now all we need to do is get it in. Yep. Will this yard ever be done? How much more patience do you think they can have? At least the other project elements are arriving on time. Where's the sand glass? What? Sand glass? That's what's missing, right? That's what's missing. Uh, oh my god. No, I guess the last thing is find out what our missing glass is, get the water feature in the bridge in, and then the plants. All I need is for our designer to arrive. Way too early. Hope she brought her imagination. So let me get this straight. You want me to tell you what I want to furnish when it's uh, not even half done? <laughs> is that yeah. it? Yeah. So on one side of it is a water feature that's kind of running along with it. Oh, that'll be sexy. Yeah. Margaret did a reno on this place. Okay. You can see inside? Yeah. Inside it's like area. really, really nice. Yeah. So what you're trying to mimic that out here? Yeah. You mentioned that this is going to be metal. It'd be nice to bring in some metal into the furnishings if we can find. Yeah. Okay, any any idea for time frame for my purposes? Next year? <laughs> she might be right. But while Lisa looks for furniture for this space, I contemplate a new career. investment of hope and our metal walkway finally starts to take shape. Finally metal, guys. Awesome. And sandblasted glass doors are good to go up. This looks sweet. Yeah. The final piece of Margaret's puzzle, the metal catwalk, has arrived. Oh, that's not too heavy. It's obscene. Sweet, man. This is beautiful. I love this. Wow, you're really going to see the plants underneath, eh? It's oh, important. Yeah. I feel almost optimistic. Look at this plant. Agastache. Bees love this plant. Hi, Mr. Bee. Goes down there, James. The plants are being placed, and we're almost done. So is this the last thing to go in? No, it's not. The water feature still got to go in. Water feature? No, it do. Oh, yeah. If you can't get here, then uh, then I guess we're going elsewhere. So I guess our business is done. We're late, and I'm winning the bet. Yeah. Yep. Why then do I feel like such a loser? I don't know what to do with that. Water feature? You know what's happening? Yeah, I got my chain yanked. Jay fired the steel guys. We're screwed. Six months of dealing with these guys, and now they're gone. It's like, 
I hope there's somebody in the wings that he knows about that's going to do this. And now what do we do? Nuts? <laughs> <laughs> we must be. But that hasn't stopped us from finding someone new. Hey, good morning. How are you? Now, if he can only use his magic to get it done lickety split. I need it yesterday, Luke. I know everybody says this, right? The rock bed water feature has to work with age old stone. It has to look like it's always been there. I don't want to use stainless just because I think it's a little too cold. So we just want to go with the steel that'll rust so it actually goes the rust color. At the 11th hour, the rock bed and the rest of the water feature is installed. I hope all of this time in Margaret's yard has been worth it. Wow, I love this. So do I. Whoa, you taste barn. it, man. This is beautiful. People, I think sometimes look at the city like, what kind of space do you have in the city as far as land goes, you know? That's what you can have living in the city. Well, the difference between the old yard and this one, I mean, it's just fantastic. I love it. It's like, this is amazing. <laughs> this is really This beautiful. is incredible. I love it. This place to me is spectacular. The construction challenges were just never ending with this job. But I think it has to do with how many different components you're trying to do, and you're trying to do something different. <laughs> this has got to go. We got to do it the way we said we were going to do it. Put something on this so nobody walks on it. There's nothing that drives me more mental than that. Where's the sand plastic glass? That's what's missing. It could have been probably brutal. It could have went down a road that was like, this isn't good enough. You know, but that didn't happen. Well, I'm really happy that we had a client that had the vision to let us do what we wanted here, something a little bit more modern. It's just the angles. Right off the bat, this first bed and the angles are so defined, and then it's mimicked by the other side. It's beautiful. I didn't know really what I wanted. I guess I wanted to be surprised, and having someone with a completely fresh approach take on the space and see it completely differently, that's absolutely happened. I am delighted and surprised. You just don't expect when you propose a 50-foot long boardwalk in metal that the people are gonna go, great, let's do it. Let's go down the catwalk. Show me what's in fashion, Lauren, this year. <laughs> so this is the modern river. I love it. I love just these, like, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's like cry. a nice mountain stream for your ice-cold beverage. Just exaggerated the shape. We exaggerated the length, made it seem long, and showed it off. We did the depth of the water high enough just to go over the little pebbles, yep. but not too high to cover these. Oh, yeah. The fact that it's elevated off the ground so that you walk over the top of the garden, which I just think is so innovative. Woo, woo, love it. Ah, actually, I think I'll just <laughs> sit James, on the dock, little trick you know. I learned. Oh, hey, stop it. Just like the edge of the dock, right? Yeah, You're sitting yeah there. once I feel like doing this. This is awesome. One of the things we asked Kennedy to keep when he did this was the vine that we have on the back of our house. So you want to save that? Yes, because right. it runs all the way down the house, and it's, it's good. He solved it perfectly. These brackets made of stainless steel that are scoop under the vine and hold it there in place. Don't be limited by the space you think you have, because that space, because of its shape, just creates and breeds way more interesting space that you could actually create. Don't compromise what you want. You can do it. It's just got to be laid out properly. Yeah, it's long and it's narrow. But your eye won't go to the narrowness. It will focus on all the elements that are in the garden. You go touch the water feature, you'll go want to walk down the boardwalk, you'll go to the back deck, you'll turn around, you'll be looking at it going, wow, this is amazing. I think now the garden just feels more grown up. It's unapologetically urban and uh, I really like that. Love it, it's excellent. It comes out like this. Yeah. It's so rewarding, man. It's a great deal. You no, know, I love it. I think it's yeah. awesome. I, I'm really impressed. Beautiful, boys. It nice work. Very, very nice. Exactly. Exactly. Modern style. Dude. Excellent. Let's go sashay it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no sashay. Okay. Here. Can't do it. You want sashay? Uh oh. Here comes oh, the king of sashay. Here's sashay. That sachet. is sashay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>